morning everybody and welcome to STEAM Saturday brought to you by the Pasco County Library System and the folks at the New River and Hugh Embry Libraries. I'm your host Miss Laura. Today we are going to be making some pipe cleaner people or you could make a pipe cleaner animal. Here's what you're going to get in your kit. You are going to get an assortment of colors of pipe cleaners, including two of these wonderful fluffy stems. You are going to get two wooden beads. You are going to get an assortment of <clears throat> plastic beads in various sizes. You also will have a long body bead. This was the little guy that I originally made up. This bead to me said, I want to be a body. Now, I thought of making him into a little man. I don't know why I felt he needed some black boots. There, that's what I used these large beads for. Now, how I did this was quite simple. I took one of my chenille stems and I put the head on and I bent a loop at the top. That's how I'm going to hang him or attach a, maybe a jump ring or something to attach him to my purse. And then I took one of these and I just twisted it around to make some arms. And then I put on the long bead for his body and I twisted on his legs at the bottom. Now I'm going to show you a different way of making a little person using just these. You can take these and cross them and bend them. So what you're going to do is just attach that around. Attach one. Now I'm going to twist it one more time by twisting the orange one. That way I've twisted it real snug up against the orange one. Now these are now my arms. So these can go any way like that. These are now my little legs. Now I need a head. How am I going to put a head on? Well, I can take this same one here and I can wrap around the body. I would probably cut this one here. I can attach my head and again make a little loop. Now, these are fine, but they're kind of expressionless, wouldn't you say? <sighs> kind of a blank expression. So, they need a face. Even if you're going to make them into a critter, which, let me show you how you make it into an animal. Instead of having it standing up, you just put the legs on the ground. And this I thought would be really cute if you took another chenille stem and made antlers. I thought that would be really cute. You could make a reindeer or a moose. Now, regardless, this guy needs a face. Whether he's a guy or a girl or a moose. So, different supplies you can use. We've got some Sharpies. Or we can use paint. Now, oh my goodness, how do we paint a face? Faces are about the hardest thing to paint. 
they really are. Even professional, fantastic artists have a hard time painting faces. And I can assure you, I am not a fantastic painter. I have here some blue paint and some white paint. Just regular old paint. Now, what else do I have here? I have a Q-tip. Okay. Now, things that will work instead of a Q-tip if you don't have a Q-tip. You can use the blunt end of a paintbrush. You can use a pen or a pencil. Because this face is kind of small, especially on the little bead, you want something that's going to make a small dot. Now we're going to make some eyes. I have a pretty good idea of how I want his face to look. If you're not sure, you could put some little dots on with a pencil first. If you want to mark where you want his eyes to be. Now I want the white of the eye to be quite big, so I'm going to get a good amount of paint. And the trick is, once down, once up. Now I'm going to give him a little smile. I think that's a very sweet little face. Now, I wanted to do some hair and we're going to give our little guy some hair. I'm going to try and paint this so that you can see. Painted on. This paint came out very runny. I didn't shake it up anywhere near enough, so. There. He now has bangs, just like me. Okay, well, I hope you guys are getting the idea. I think you can also paint these beads here for the bodies. So you might want to do that before you make up your little creature or person or pixie or elf or whatever you're going to call them. Oh, and I thought these would make super cool hands because they look like they have fingers. And don't forget, you can use some felt to make a hat or a dress. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun and express your creativity and don't forget to share with me pictures on our Facebook and I hope you uh, have a lot of fun with this designing your own pipe cleaner, chenille stem people. Thank you and I'll see you again very soon.